Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's case. My name is Dr. Iyer, I'm with Residence Medical. We have another high yield case for you to help you with your diagnostic and test taking skills. Let's get started with the case. We have a 49 year old female who's coming in with chest pain and this is a substernal chest pressure that radiates down her arm and is associated with nausea and sweating. The patient's history is significant for one pack a day smoking history, but she does not drink alcohol. An EKG done at the emergency department shows ST elevations and leads 2, 3, and AVF. Because of this, the patient is emergently taken to the cardiac cath lab, but on the way, the pain actually subsides. And when she gets to the cath lab and they do the angiography, they find that all the vessels are patent and there's minimal atherosclerosis. An image of the cardiac catheterization is given as well. What do you think the diagnosis is? We have four options for you. A, malingering. B, variant angina. C, cocaine withdrawal. Or D, panic attack. Comment your diagnosis below with either the diagnosis or the letter, like, and follow, and come back next time for the answer. Did you get the diagnosis right? The answer was variant angina. And variant angina is very common in middle-aged women who are smokers and is not associated actually with atherosclerosis, but is actually associated with vasospasm, meaning contraction of the vessel, similar to what happens when cocaine is being taken. So as a result of this, the patient does not actually have a need for stents or any kind of chronic care. What she needs is prevention of these vasospasms. So the way to prevent it is actually to give nitroglycerin or calcium channel blockers that allow for vasodilation of these arteries. You also may have noticed that there are ST elevations in the leads during this vasospasm. This is normal because when you have a vasospasm, you decrease the blood flow in your arteries and the heart muscle will lose its blood supply. But the interesting thing to note that differentiates this from an actual heart attack is that the troponins and the CKMB do not rise. I hope you learned a lot from this case, and we'll see you next time for another.